Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Pater Voss, the Papa Fox, and we are going to continue playing Obsidian Entertainment's Pillars of Eternity. When we last left off, our party here had barely escaped having their, uh, their gooses cooked by the Beowick, and we had uh, successfully uh, beaten off uh, some of the... Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. We successfully fended off uh, some of our uh, uh, would-be attackers, the Air Glafinath, I think, the, those folks who were protecting the ruins here. So, let's go ahead and be about it. Sure. Yep, I don't want fast mode. Slow mode active. There we go. Oop, let's see what this is. A lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. Ah, normal mode. We don't want slow mode. Sorry. Slow mode is for slow people. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Mm -hmm. One moment. Let's see what we're going to say here. What happened to us out there? Kalsika shakes her head. Windstorm. Of a kind they only get in Air Glanfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's what's true. Uh, the Glenfathen uh, word is Beowick. To them, it's the gods' way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their way out, their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Uh, who attacked us? Glenfathens. Those would be the hut dwellers. Adma warned you about. Look to be the fangs of Galwain, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odma. I think he half expected this, once we lost the main road. The Glenfathans uh, said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odma would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, the Glenfathans don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passageway beyond. Or there's looters in here with us, and that's not something we need right now. What about everyone else in our caravan? Kalska's lips press together, and her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. The wheels got a hold of them now. She looks up. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about all of this. Kalska looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse, too. Seen worse and kept on walking, because there's nothing else to be done. And because other, there's other people you care about who still need you. Well, fair enough. Let's get going. Okay. Now we could go left or right. I think we will go left. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little. Sorry if I'm a little snorfully. Someone else has been here. We should move. Uh, let's see if they have anything else useful. You know, like that. Okay, we have a maze, some camping supplies, and a hammer and chisel. I've discovered some camping supplies. So camping supplies... If you ever play Dungeons and Dragons, you know that sometimes you need a short rest to regain some of your spell slots. Well, the same thing happens with this. You can use camping supplies to heal. You'll get some debilitating wounds like strange illness or um, like a broken limb. Uh, and sometimes you might need to heal your health and regain spell slots. And you can do so with camping supplies. I think you can only carry up to three. A torch and a small shield. Now, one of the other things that we came across is let's go ahead and look in our stash uh, where did it go lock pick lock pick huh ah yes hammer and chisel uh, these things you can actually use during those role play elements like we saw with the uh, with the uh, um, text on a sheet like this and those will allow you to do certain things like uh, there's rope um, there's other things you can use, so there is that. And they all allow you to do certain things, and sometimes they're required to get to certain places. So it always helps to have some of those things on hand. In fact, 
We're going to move it out of the stash and put it right here. We don't need this bow. In fact, a lot of things we uh, this we don't need. Uh, recovery speed minus 25. Light armor, medium armor. We're actually going to wear some of the hide armor on this guy because we want to be able to strike fast while the iron is hot. Uh, yeah, we don't want we don't want this because we're going to be a speedy little feller. We're going to be able to dodge those eras. Okay. Now, because you have a threat range on all your characters and all the enemy characters, sometimes it pays to scout ahead and leave some of your enemy in a little formation here, or some of your uh, mates in a little formation here, because you can block off doorways. Oh boy. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zorip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Let's slowly back away. Watch as warily as you go. Let's see what else is about. Oh, right. Now, we're... Sorry, little guy. We're going to come back this way. Yep, there we go. Sorry. So sorry. But there's loot here that we must take. Wait, exactly. do you hear that? Ooh. Leather armor? Anguithin relief gem? Right click for details. Ooh. And a tattered journal. This small folio, I'm not going to read this, um, mostly because there's a lot of books in this game, so I'm just going to keep it here. Three, two, one. Okay, and we are off. I'm not going to go back down that way. We are actually going to take a look. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Dendum add to the ruin of these. Let's see what's this way. Okay. I think we're actually going to go back down this way. Sorry I'm all over the place. Uh, in games like this, I really do like to explore everywhere I possibly can. Aha! A scolder whelp. Let's just charge in. A carblamo. That went quick. Got a scalder ear. Eh, you know, you can sell it. Hatchet. Ooh. That look. I think we get through. Let's take a look at our map. So we could probably get around that way. But let's go see what was in that room that we didn't quite explore yet. <coughs> symbol. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Oh, right. Right up here. Okay. Well, let's see what else is about. Sorry, I'm pressing tab every once in a while. I don't want to miss a thing. Ooh, a lesser black ooze. Well, let's just go ahead and rush in and smash it to bits with our fists. Because that's what we're good at. Fisticuffs! There we go. Oh, and one of the other neat things is if you have a bunch of enemies around each other, they will stack, so you can just loot them all at once. Ooh, a poleaxe. If I were playing a warrior character, this would be What's an that excellent that muck on the wall. Viscous and oily, this muck clings to anything it touches. Yuck. A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges of, in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Let's use a water skin. You've lost an item. Full water skin. The ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has 
chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. So, if... Oh! Let's see here. I believe we have something for that. Huh. Let's see. Well, there we go. I guess for some reason we didn't quite pick it up. Could have sworn that we did. Let's just uh, let's just continue on. I mean, there are multiple ways you can get through this, so we're gonna go back down. Let's see what that does. And a path reveals itself. But we are not going to go through there because I want to show you what the hammer and chisel does. Now, I wonder. No, no not there. Is it? Oh, right. Okay, quest item. Apparently I hadn't looted it. So let's actually go all the way back and we're going to double time it. Fast mode active. Speedy, speedy, speedy. March, 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 march. And there we go. Uh huh. Wall gives way. Ooh. Okay. Let's deal with this one. Ha ha. Smack. Slish, splash. I was taking a bath. I don't actually don't want to take a bath in this one. That would just be terrible. That would be icky. Ooh, okay. A minor Cloak of Protection, Amethyst, and Audra. Okay, we are actually going to want to put on that cloak. And if we look here, you will see Fortitude plus 5, Reflex plus 5, and Will plus 5. That would be an excellent thing for us to put on our monkey monk. Hi, monkey monk. So again, we're going to go back down this way. We're going to go back to this wall. And as soon as we break it down, I think that will be the end of the episode. And da -da -da -da. Unless there's something super exciting on the other side. You never know. Okay. Push on the wall. Uh, try something else because if okay so basically what happens is sometimes when you use a skill during this whole thing you'll end up being winded and you'll have to rest a bit afterwards but if you have a tool it makes the, of course the task easier okay yep see there we go you set to work the cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts but the process is more taxing than you'd expect sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache after several long moments, you begin to see light on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of the stone shift and then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. You have lost the hammer and chisel. I could scout ahead. I uh, could. I could have. I could have scouted, but. I could scout ahead. See what's around the corner. Let's see what just. Let's see what this goes. I think I'll we're going to be able to take these ones no problem. Oh, and you'll see here we have wings. One wounds for our uh, swift strikes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's the sneaky sneak scouting mode right there, which I don't believe it will do. 
And I think that will actually be the end of the episode here. Well, if you've enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or comment or even uh, give me some feedback if you'd like with the comments. If you've liked my other work, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Why not? It's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you'll come back and pull up a chair next time for some more Pillars of Eternity. All right. Take care. Bye.